Let's go ahead and talk about some latest Lions, Detroit Lions news here, as well as some Lions rumors regarding said player. We're going to talk about Frank Ragnow, injury concern, future concern. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, when will he return? James Houston, Detroit Lions versus Bears, some little tidbits there, as well as the rooting guide. Let's go. Folks, really, really, really close to 50,000 subscribers. I'd like to have it by tomorrow because then tomorrow I can do a celebration live stream for 50,000. So if you're one of the individuals watching this not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We just need 45 more to get to that celebration stream. Let's get into the Lions news here. Frank Ragnow is going to be out in this game. Now, the report hasn't come out yet, the injury report, but I'm going to go ahead and call him not playing. He hasn't practiced all week. And that really stinks for him, for sure. And I want to talk a little bit about the future of Frank Ragnow. I was listening to Detroit Lions podcast, Chris and Riz. Make sure you subscribe to them. And they talked about the possibility of Frank Ragnow potentially retiring after this year due to the injuries. He's dealing with a, a toe that will never be the same. He's been dealing with injuries throughout his career they're talking about how he is not a diva type of individual. He's got enough money to live the way he wants, and he may retire after this season. I think he'll play another year, but we do got to worry about the future of Frank Ragnow because of the injuries. And, you know, it's at some point, if you do, if you were to retire, you're, you're stuck in a hole. So I think the Lions do need to address the, the offensive line in the draft. They will do that, but I do, in my personal belief, I, I have no connections. My personal belief is he will return next year, but that is absolutely just me. So I got a question for you right now. What is your concern for the injuries for the Detroit Lions? One being not concerned at all, 10 being extremely concerned. Let's continue on here with James Houston. And here, here's what Dan Campbell said. We've been shooting for a December return, Campbell said. 97 won the ticket, but he's still got a ways to go, and it's probably more late December that's going to happen. Continue on, I feel like I'm a game changer. This is James Houston. I make some very explosive plays. I feel like that's what the team needs. They need turnovers. They need explosive plays to swing the momentum in our favor. I feel like that is something I'm really, really good at, and he, he is really good at that. That, that does 100%. And James Houston is an explosive player, even though he was drafted in the later rounds. I think he does return in, I think probably next week, they're going to do that little activation, the 21-day window. I do believe he returns this year before the playoffs. And Dan from uh, Lions Talk Live, he said it before anybody else. Make sure you subscribe to his channel because he, he knew, knew about this. It will be really good for James Houston to get back on the Lions' defense. We need him in a big, massive way. A little more of the rumor side, but I was told that C.J. Gardner-Johnson could be activated by next week for the 21-day window. That would be fantastic news for the Detroit Lions' secondary. Get a massive boost in with C.J. Gardner-Johnson potentially returning to the lineup. And then you're, you're heading to the playoffs with Lee McNeil, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, and James Houston returning. Big boost to Lions defense. That's three starters. So hope that happens. Next week should be a big week with James Houston and C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Can they both get activated for that 21-day window? I hope so. I hope so. It doesn't mean they're going to play versus the Broncos, but it means they're on their way back. But we do got some good injury news here, and that's Alex Anzalone is going to be playing in this game on Sunday. He's practiced all week. He'll be playing, and we need the talent that he brings. He's a, he's a good player. I think he's probably the best player on the defense right now, shockingly, but it's 100% true. So we'll have a full complement of linebackers, and maybe they use Jalen Reeves, maybe to Malcolm Rodriguez with some speed because you're, you're dealing with Justin Fields. But we're good to have him back. Upon the defensive line, obviously we know that Ali McNeil – Will he was placed in IR? He'll come back. I think week 18 is when he can come back. Who's going to replace him? Don't really know. I just put somebody. We have no idea who is going to replace his production or who is going to be in and out of the lineup. Will it be Levi Nuzurike? Will it be Isaiah Bugs? Will it be Broderick Martin? I have no idea, but somebody's got to step up, and it's a great opportunity. Again, we talked about Alex Anzalone just a minute ago. It gave Jack Campbell an opportunity 
to show himself. J- uh, Jalen Reeves may even show himself. Malcolm Robert needs to show himself. So somebody on this defensive line can show themselves and try to make an impact. It's hard to fill in the shoes of Ali McNeil, but somebody has to do it, and it's a great opportunity. Who's going to do it? We'll find out on Sunday. Today's show is sponsored by Prize Picks, the newest sponsor here at Chat Sports. I can't wait to talk to you about this here. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS, code CLNS. They'll match your deposit match up to $100. And if you want to spice up your NFL Sunday, get started with Prize Picks right now. Prize Picks is a skill based, real money, daily fantasy sports game. And if you're looking to have more fun on game day, Look no further than Prize Picks. Do you want to play alongside some of Prize Picks' favorite players like rapper Meek Mill and comedian Andrew Schultz? You can now find community plays on the promos tab of the app to view entries for some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. PrizePicks.com even offers a reboot policy so your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second half, that player is rebooted. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. I decided to go with NHL here, and I have Robert Thomas getting more than 20.75 time on the ice. Same with Sidney Crosby getting more than 19.75. So get started with Prize Picks right now. PrizePicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS for a deposit match up to $100. Why is it code CLNS? Because that's our ad agency partner. Use code CLNS. It's real easy. Four letters get $100 match when you sign up. So download the app today. The link will be in the description in the comment section of this video. It's prizepicks.com slash CLNS code CLNS. Lions got a big game on Sunday for sure. And we got to face the Chicago Bears. And we're going to get into what I think should occur in this game. What the Lions should do to help get a victory here. But before we do that... Who wins on Sunday? Do you got the Lions winning? Put L for Lions. Do you got the Chicago Bears winning? Put B for Bears. Blow up the comment section. Let's continue on here. What I think the Detroit Lions should do is they said absolutely try to get some explosive plays in this game. First off, before we do that, the weather in Chicago has changed a little bit. It was going to be sleet snow with 25 mile per hour winds. I just checked it. 12 mile per hour winds and potentially just cloudy. So the weather is going to be a little bit better for the Detroit Lions. And that's a big deal because I think the Lions should use Jamison Williams play big playability in this game. Get him the football. We've seen his speed. We see what he can do. And with the winds down, maybe you can do a couple of long passes to Jamison Williams. If not, if the weather is still screwing up the football for Jared Goff, do some end arounds, do a jet sweep, give Jamison Williams the football. The guy is a playmaker, and we need to make some big plays. No doubt about it. Give him the football some way, somehow. That is the best option right now, and it will make other defenses pay attention. Again, the importance of Jamison Williams is his speed and how defenses scheme around it. At some point, they got to look at him and say, this is a big play threat. We got to double team him or figure something out for him. Then it opens it up for St. Brown. It opens it up for Laporta. It opens it up for everybody else in the run game. So use Jamison Williams. Not not just use him for this game for this game, but it's for future games and future defensive coordinators trying around to, to scheme around the Detroit Lions. Very important for that. Again, make some big plays in this game. Jameer Gibbs is another player that can do some big splash plays. We need big splash plays. It's going to be hard to run on the Chicago Bears. They're the number one rush defense defense in the NFL at 79 yards a game. Get him on the outside. Something for, for Jameer Gibbs to make some big splash plays. We need that to happen in this game. Again, if you don't know, next week's game, it's going to be Saturday, December 16 at 8.15 p.m., We're going to be live for it, obviously, on here because we're always live. But a big game for the Detroit Lions. Next week, starting on Wednesday, I will be in Dallas. I'll be in Dallas all the way till Saturday. I'll do a live show, the One Pride Podcast, at Chat Sports HQ. So I'm super excited for that for sure. Question for you really quick. Give a score prediction for the game. Do you think it's going to be a high-scoring game? Blow up the comment section. Let's start the this turned into more of a conversation. I love what 
other websites do. They make it to where you can comment and people can comment back and forth. So do that in the comment section here. Make this a part of the conversation. Do you think that the Lions win in a low-scoring game? Do you think it's a defensive-scoring game? Let me know in the comments below. Let's continue on the rooting guide for this week. We want the Ravens to defeat the Rams. It's simple as here. You always go for AFC over NFC. The Rams are starting to come on strong, but guess what? The Ravens are a really good football team. So you want the, the Ravens to go out there and defeat the L.A. Rams. Uh, look, I know there's Stafford fans out there, but again, we're the, we want the Lions in the best position here. We want the Panthers to defeat the New Orleans Saints. This is two reasons why. First off, the Saints is a better record than we just beat. That's not really the reason. To me, the real reason is, is we want the Panthers to not give the Chicago Bears the number one overall pick. So the Panthers need to win some football games. The Patriots won last night. The Arizona Cardinals won last week. We need the Panthers to start winning some games. We don't want Chicago to have the number one overall pick. Win some games. Next one, super easy. Raiders over the Vikings. Do I really have to explain it here? Of course, we want the NFC North to lose. The Raiders AFC team. Raiders help the Detroit Lions out. Get a win. We need the Raiders to win. We be rooting for the Raiders like we rooting for the Detroit Lions. And lastly, and surely not least, we want the Giants to defeat the Packers. Big. We need to be big Giants fans. Giants need to pull a major upset defeat the Green Bay Packers because the Packers are 6-6. Six and six. The Vikings are 6-6. Six and six. We want those teams to go to 6-7. And, and the Lions get a win to go to 10-3. And, and then the Lions can win the division at home versus the Denver Broncos on Saturday, live in prime time for the whole world to see, and then we can do a celebration. So Lions win, Raiders win, Giants win. Of course, you want the Panthers to defeat the Saints so the Bears don't get the first overall pick. Let's go and get it done for sure. That's what we need in this bad boy. Folks, if you're watching this and not subscribed, again, 45 subscribers away from 50,000. We'll do a live stream, celebration live stream. Super excited to do that. Real excited to get to 50K. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. All of that will be live on Sunday. Lions, Bears at Chicago. With that said, folks, adios.